Hello folks, my ZWO ASI 224 MC camera arrived and I am hoping for a break in the cloud so I can try this thing on Jupiter. Uh, let's open the box and see what's inside. Okay, here's what's in the box. We got the camera and it looks like it has two ports on it, a USB and the line or a port that looks like it could support a telephone line that's probably if anyone wants to use this as an auto guider I'm guessing on that but I don't intend to use it that way it comes with a nose piece USB cable telephone line drivers which I'll probably just get the latest drivers online and the cover and that's it um, no instructions no capture software uh, no, nothing, but I will probably just find out what everybody else uses to capture data. I did this last year. I can't remember the software I use. Uh, it's probably on my old laptop. I'll take a look at what that was, but that's all I got. See you later. Hey, I was wrong when I said it didn't look like it came with capture software. This thing came with a lot of software on that driver disk. And these are the four subfolders that were on that disk. And if I click on software, under Windows, it looks like it came with Auto Stacker, which I know a lot of people use for stacking their data once they capture planets. The ASCOM Platform 6.2, although I know it is up to at least 6.3 now. Fire Capture, which is used to capture your, your planets with. And SharpCap, another capture software and let's see what else did it come with um, let's back up again oh this is okay this is what it comes with if you have a Mac OA capture and PHD2 if you want to use this as an auto guider it also came with a manual which I have no intention of reading EFW, I'm not sure if, if, if that's for a filter wheel, sounds like it might be for the filter wheel, if you have a filter wheel, I think, I'm not sure on that. And under camera you have, looks like more ASCOM setup software, driver software, and plugin software, if you're using micromanager. ASI Micromanager. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Or SkyX. I'm kind of curious what that ASI Micromanager is. I'll have to look into that. And I didn't actually install any driver software. I had so much ZWO software loaded already. I just wondered what would happen if I if I plugged in the camera. And it's already recognized. You can see it in my driver list. As soon as I plugged it in, it became recognized. ZWO ASI 224MC. So uh, I'm not going to do anything special for the drivers. Uh, I'll see if this works without it. And uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to actually be able to use the camera the way it's looking like right now in Detroit. I might never see a clear sky again. So I'll see you later. I am out here trying to capture Jupiter. These are all the settings I'm using. Not sure if I'm doing it right. I'll just say, deep, I'll just go preview on for D-Bear. Not sure if that's the right setting. Uh, exposure time, gain is set to auto. I'm gonna hit start capture. And I've been using this setting, 5,000. I'm going to capture 5,000 frames. Here's the frame count right there. Uh-oh, it just went behind the cloud. Okay, this won't be a good one. It's not a good day right now. It's hazy. It's windy. It came back. Well, I'm not going to keep that one. Let's, let's start again. This is about as good as I can get it focused. I've been going back and forth. I don't know if that's a great red spot right there, but it, it's a lot of fun. I just hope it works. I hope I'm doing this right. We've been having a lot of cloudy weather, and I'd hate to waste tonight. 
right? Because I was doing it wrong. But, you know, the, the first night out, something's bound to go wrong. Oh, I think it's finished here. I'm not sure. Okay, I'll see you later.